Hi, my name is Freddie. Welcome to my channel. For my subscribers, thank you for watching. And for those of you that are not subscribed, subscribe and join the fun. Why not? It's free. For this first craft, we need this shelf liner, a seven inch base, just a little piece of foam board, some washi tape. You only need three of these rocks, a candle, some twine, and chalk paint, and black, and mineral. And some E6000. The first step is to trace your base on the foam board. Now we're going to cut that out. And you also want to cut this out around your base. You want it to cover your base with a little overlap. I plan on using washi tape to seal the back. I'm not going to stick this to the glass. And I am going to paint three of my rocks black. Okay, as you probably noticed, I did cut a little bit more than my circle. It really had a really cool octagon pattern, um, and I wish I would have left it like that. And then I just took sandpaper and, and tried to get it as smooth as possible. But it does have a cool design and kind of will match my rocks. Then I am going to take my twine, and I'm going to wrap it around these edges until you can't see any of the edges. And then I'm going to paint both sides black. Okay, while well, everything else is drying, I am going to start on my cover for my base. I just placed my washi tape down on a piece of wax paper. Make sure your washi tape is secured to this. Where my tape is, I'm going to leave it white. I'm painting this black and the inside gray. And what you want to do is kind of like dry brushing, but dry sponge, I guess. I don't want that much paint. I just kind of I want my pattern to show a little bit. Okay, let me finish painting this. Okay, now that this is dry, I wish I would have painted these black because I really like how the black came out. But I like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half. And where the white is, I'm going to cut out some triangles. Try to just cut out a little few triangles just so my candle white will go through. So like that, I'm going to cut out a whole bunch along here, along my white. I'm going to space them out. Okay, now that I cut out all of my shapes, I really messed up on that one. I am attaching this to my glass with just washi tape. So I just start there and then I place it over there. And I want to make sure it goes all the way down. And then I'm going to tape it again. In the meantime, I need to get back to my lid. And that's going to go on top. I want to keep all my light inside. I just want my light to come through the holes. And it will show because you can kind of see through this. So what you want to do is take your rocks. And I have three rocks. And you can see one's bigger. And I'm just going to place them on top with some E6000. And glue them on top of my lid. And when that dries, I will set it up. Okay, this is the finished project during the day. Can't wait for night. Okay, and there it is at night. I love it. On to the next project. For this project, you're going to need some of this pop-up tape, a light, some twine, a 12-inch willow wreath, and the straw hat. I love these hats. These are great for decorating. The first thing you want to do is you want to pick three spots on the hat to attach string to your hat like I have done this one and I just tied a piece of string right here and then I put a toothpick on the other end and used masking tape to hold it on and I just weaved it in. I did not go in between where they connect. I think in the event with Karen 
shows you that you can actually rip this apart if you start over here you can actually rip it all apart and you'll have a nice big ribbon I guess to play with so I poke my holes in the middle of them I didn't poke them in between there because I didn't want it to rip apart so pick three spots on your wreath and attach your wreath to your hat what we are making here is going to be a hanging planter but I'm putting a light in mine okay now that I got my strings through my hat I did add a bit of hot glue here just to kind of keep it and I did put two more wreaths down just to hold my hat up so it doesn't go flat now I'm going to take this double sided tape and I'm going to put it on my battery pack and I'm just going to, since this is the back, I, I want to be able to hit my button on my light on the side here. Make sure my lights work. Yep. Yeah. And I'm just going to place this right here. And now I'm just going to take my mounting tape and I am going to string my lights inside my hat like this I don't want my light to hit the hat because it will show through too much but I do want the bottom part of my hat to be lit so I'm just going to take my mounting tape it's going to cut off a little piece I'm going to put it on my light And then I'm just going to start placing mine right there. Just want my light pointing down, but I don't want it to be too far down. So I'm just going to finish this all around. Okay, so now that my lights are in, before I tie my strings together to hang it up, I want to place my flowers inside and so I chose these Walmart 50 cents for these again this was Walmart not sure Dollar Tree does have some pretty green green flowers but this is what I chose to use so let me set my flowers up and hang it up and project will be done and there it is I can't wait for night to see what the light looks like you can see them my rope got twisted so yes I'm gonna have to take it down my hat's a little bit crooked let me do that, but I want to hang it up before it gets dark here. Okay, and this is my planner with the light on. I really like the glow it leaves on my walls. It's kind of cool, and I like that. I think the straw hats make awesome lampshade. On to the next craft. For this project, you want two of these wall stickers, one of these trays, Two of these dowels that came from the sponge brushes and four of these beads, silver sharpie and some chalk paint. The first step is to paint your dowels and your beads with black and to paint the edges all black. I'm not going to paint the bottom. I am going to paint a little bit and I'm also going to paint from here down. Okay, now that my tiles are in there, I am going to glue my beads down. And I just picked this dot right here as, as a placement. So I'm going to put my handle on plus. Let me make sure they're even. Now these are obviously just decorative. I would not pull on these handles. Now I'm going to do that on the other side as well. I was going to take the Sharpie and run it along the edge just to give it a silver line. But sometimes less is more and I like it like this. Okay, here's my tray. I should, probably should have painted the handle silver. But it works for when I come in my house, I can just throw my mask down. Okay, everyone, stay safe and don't forget to subscribe.